Okay, and with that, you set out. That's the end of the first scene, technically. Now, between scenes, um, you're allowed to spend your dreams, if you've acquired dreams, to strengthen relationships, if you so wish. Furthermore, you've been given a new relationship with this brownie, you could write down brownie, or autumn, as in the season. And he has a different impression of each of you. Uh, Currently, he has two pips of affection towards both Kameko and Habi. And one pip of affection towards Dr. Hero, because (laughs) Dr. Hero tried to shred a journal in front of him. (laughs) That's what I do. (laughs) So I can put... I don't apologize to nobody for nothing. (laughs) Did the dream points carry over into the next scene? Yeah, absolutely. They carry until the end of the session. I'm keeping my dreams. Yeah, hold on to them. I'm going to need them so when we sleep. I want to use... Wait, so how many dreams do you use to strengthen one pip? Uh, it says at the bottom of your character sheet. I, I like, I, uh, standardize on the character character sheet. I'm sorry, I am out in the hallway right now. I do not have access to the chart. <laughs> I wish I had a... Uh, anybody else oh, wait, who no, has a character sheet? Okay, I'm looking at one now. Uh, looks like Raising Connections, one is five... Uh, one pip is five dreams. Or no, the Raising... The first pip is five dreams. The second is also five dreams, and the third is also five dreams. Yeah. Um, so I think I've got. I think I've got five. Yeah, I believe you do. I want to raise my connection with Comico one, so that oh, would cool. bring it up to two. And the ground of that is respect, because uh, any any animal of roughly my size and weight <laughs> that is going that is volunteering to go into a wheat field with carnivorous condors, uh, that, that, that merits some serious respect from a doctor who is a hero. Yeah, that's fair. And uh, Jackson, on your character sheet, you, you basically fill out that pip from, yeah, yeah, you got it. Uh, I'm also going to spend uh, some dreams to upgrade Kameko, uh, the affection stat, because a rabbit covered in spare rib sauce is adorable. <laughs> You're traveling with a with a rabbit covered in spare rib sauce and a cat covered in golden glitter. <laughs> oh, that's that's really good. And uh, you're gonna hold on to your dreams, Jackson. Yeah, I can't level anything yet. Okay, cool. I mean, I can't feel anything yet. Or whatever. <laughs> so you get more wonder and more feelings because it's the start of a new scene. Which this this stuff starts adding up very quickly. Yeah. Your wonder basically use, uh, lets you use your Henge power. Your feelings lets you boost your skills. Um, okay, so you've, got, you've been given a basic task. What order do you want to tackle things in? You feeling the wheat first, the mushroom first, or yeah, the purest snow first? I think, I think we should do the wheat first, just in case we don't like... Because if we do it later in the day, we might fall asleep and accidentally miss bringing all these back at the right time and sleep through the whole festival. Mm-hmm. Dreams, that's adorable. <laughs> yes. I, uh, and I, uh, I want to do the wheat as well because uh, I, well, number one, want to, uh, want to see what Kamako can do and trust Kamako's moxie for, uh, for going into the carnivorous condor fields and also want that to happen while it's daylight. Yeah. <laughs> okay, cool. Prepare to so be doing the setting, uh, <laughs> setting the scene once again. Uh, it's obviously the three of you guys and just the three of you traveling through the carnivorous condor fields nearby town. <laughs> or the fields you believe to contain can- carnivorous condors. You have a foreign animal, correct, uh, Jackson? Okay, cool. Um, yeah, no, you're, you're easily able to lead them to the wheat fields without any incident. You arrive on the very the edge. Great towering boughs with long paths cut into them. You do believe you see some shapes circling in front of the sun, but their forms are hazy. What are you going to do? I see some shapes circling the sun. Circling in front of the sun, like uh, high above the earth, whatever you want to call it. What are all our uh, forms right now? Is this? Yeah. I'm people form. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm, stuck. I'm cat form, because that's what I love. <laughs> I guess. I should be rabbit form, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> okay, cool. Around, even though there's condors. Yep. I can hide in the wheat. Yeah, I'm gonna, so yeah, uh, if you guys want to RP it out going through here, I can give you a check whenever it comes up. I can maybe go talk to the con- condors if you guys want. No if, need. If you talk to the condors, then I can fall asleep, and uh, we can, uh, Kamiko and I can work on uh, on getting the dream weed. Uh, okay, so, 
Wait, so wait, wait. Just to make sure I understand, I turn to, to Comico. We're in the wheat field. We fall mm-hmm. asleep. We get the dream form of the wheat and bring it back into the waking world. Sounds like it. Yes. Okay. We have to harvest it or something. While you're sleeping. While we're sleeping. Uh, Got yeah. it. I fall asleep. <laughs> <laughs> I I hand the uh, the shoe that contains Doctor <laughs> Hero to Kamiko. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Habi, what's your uh, what's your hang gay? Uh, three. Three. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you know that you'll need a like. You'll know that in order to perform this specific ritual, thanks to your witch knowledge, you'll need to probably be fairly deep into the field. You can't get toe the line on the edge. The good dream weed is from deep, okay. deep within. Wait, uh, I forgot. Kameko, what form are you in? I'm a bunny. Okay. <laughs> Here, can I tie him onto you like a little backpack? <laughs> <laughs> You've got hands. Well, yeah, but it's a cat and a clog. You can't be able to run from condors. But I, w- I can protect you guys from condors with hands. Carry him. I don't imagine that Hobby is particularly combat savvy, so I just can imagine what she's doing, just like swatting up. Stop it. Go, go away. Go away. Go away. Go away. Yeah. Just carry him. Okay. Uh, I I put him. I open my messenger bag and put him in and shut it. Dream dollars to both of you, by the way. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, uh, lead the way, yes, Kamiko. Yes, dream. Yes, I, I. Yeah, I. I keep forgetting we can do that. Yeah, uh, yeah. dream to Faust and a dream to Jackson dream for to Jackson. Uh, for that RP. Yeah, that was really good. <laughs> All right, Kamiko, um, uh, hop along and I'll follow. Okay, Stay I'm fast. gonna flat out tell you. The creatures circling above have pretty keen eyes. They can notice stuff moving within the field. Your current animal score is extremely high, but in order to get past them, you're probably going to need animal five. But that's impossible. <gasps> or is it? Or is it? What do I spend to do that? You Dream? spend one feeling. Is it one feeling? Oh, wait, no, he would just need one feeling because his animal's already four. Yes. Wait, so gotcha. what about me? Is he leading? Is Kamaka leading uh, me? Well, here's Condors the thing. You're a human. Me. Condors aren't going to bug you. A sp- uh, and the cat's in your pack. Okay, <laughs> that's yeah. right. <laughs> it's, it's specifically, this is for Kameko sneaking by, and uh, if you do spend the feeling, you get to narrate you being really cool going through the fields, Jackson. All right, yeah, I'm going to spend the feeling. Wow. Okay. Isn't it good Excellent. that there wasn't a cat and a shoe tied to my back? <laughs> <laughs> well, Try to keep up. I guess. Oh, well, oh geez, you're fast. Kameko zips off into the wheat fields, and it's pretty hard to see where she's going. But you you trace the the ripple she leaves in the wheat, and she goes so deep into the fields that the condors would have a lot of trouble diving down and not getting tangled up. Ooh, nice. I, uh, I uh, plod along in my clogs, following the path that uh, Kanaka <laughs> left. Uh, all you can see, uh, if you were an observer, all you'd see would be a wide-brimmed witch hat bobbing along uh, <laughs> through the field of wheat. And if you, oh, could, if, you, if you had double sights, you could see a cat sleeping in a shoe in the witch bag, but a dream cat hanging on to the crown of the bobbing hat, because the cat is, uh, cat is weightless because it's a dream cat, but watching <laughs> the, the wheat go by from the dream side of reality. <laughs> Excellent. As you progress through the wheat field, you kick up countless dragonflies. Uh, you get into the absolute depths of the place. Uh, what would... Habi, you feel actually pretty at ease. Uh, the long curtains of wheat extend on either side, making a sort of natural house or home. It'd be pretty nice to actually sp- uh, spend some time here. Uh, your rabbit pal found a perfect spot for you. So are you guys going to settle down? Oh, I'm glad that we chose to do this during the day. I'm kind of tired. Tell me about it. So, okay. Um, kind of. I scratch at the ground a bit, make a nice little... Uh, Improv, den, and snuggle in. Okay, okay. I'll, I'll stay up. I'll stay up to keep the condors away. I, uh, <laughs> I take I take the clog of Doctor Hero out of my bag and scoot it into the den and give them both a pat and then and then watch yeah. the sky to make sure that Wait, condors. I've got are. an idea. Huh? Put your hat over us. <gasps> I put my hat over both of them. Dreams. Get dreams. <laughs> yes, that's dreams. That's very good. <laughs> That's some strong tech. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, 
let's say let's say using your henge powers to uh, transcend to the dream realm is gonna that's gonna cost you that's gonna be five henge. You need a you need to have five henge for that. Wait, you know, do you mean for for hobby or for all of us? For all of you, anybody who's going to the dream realm, hobby is watching, so she's fine. She okay, I can't fall asleep if I don't. Do it. No, you'll you'll fall into a completely oh. normal sleep. Got it. Okay, how many did my feelings from the previous section uh, transfer over into oh, the second course. scene? And you what, get what, new what, ones each scene, yeah. What feeling? What amount do I get at the start of each scene? Uh, it is the relationships of other people to you. So you would have gotten six and six, so you're at twelve. Okay, then I'm going to use four feeling to uh, I, to to get up to five henge because I've only got one. Yeah. Um, I'm going to sleep and mean it. <laughs> <laughs> So, 12 minus 4, I'm writing this in a notepad that doesn't calculate anything. Um, <laughs> 10, 9, 8. I have eight feelings left. Excellent. Surely if I just tell a computer, it's going to know what to do, right? <laughs> um, yeah, so I've, I've spent, uh, spent four feelings to go into Dream World, and uh, I have been cat kicking and grabbing and rolling around in the wheat field as a cat for <laughs> dreams. a little bit here. Definitely dreams. Yeah. Chasing dream dragonflies. Yeah, I was about to say. <laughs> on the other side, the dream dragonflies are gigantic, like the size of a shoebox. <laughs> Even better, because I have a shoe. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I want to give Faust one dream for, for RPing my character better than I did with the dragonfly. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god okay so uh come echo are you paying the uh same cost nope you're not you're just falling into a completely normal rabbit sleep yep okay cool uh come echo passes out as does dr hero or dr hero finally hits that legendary ninth stage of rem sleep and <laughs> takes the dream realm which only cats can reach <laughs> only cats can reach this <laughs> There the sky stretches upwards in a, a oh, multitude man. of brilliant hues. The dragonflies all arc heavensward. You take a look around, and you notice that the wheat, which once made a tiny, cute, close hovel, is towering, gigantic. The patches between no longer illuminated by the sunlight. It simply vanishes into shadow. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I go over to, uh, I, I, I am somewhat intimidated by this and go over to Kamiko. Kamiko, Kamiko, do you know what this is? I don't, I don't, this, I followed you here. Com Come on. Kamiko mumbles in her sleep. <laughs> oh man, I thought I remember reading about rabbit eye movement when I was. <laughs> <laughs> Dreams. Yeah, Dreams. Was that? Was that all snake Pretty oil? Much. Oh, wait. That was in the same class where I learned about snake oil. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap, James. Oh, wow. That was good. <laughs> I'm, I'm very uncomfortable now, but I stretch and hop out of the dream clog and, and look around. Uh, re refresh me again on what I see now that I'm, now that I'm oh, breathing yeah. it. Uh, first of all, the dream clog floats behind you. Second of all, <laughs> second of all, what's your animal score? Animal score is three. Three. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, your senses. Oh, sorry, pop filter. Uh, your senses dart out to either side. Uh, your natural cat-like intuition uh, lets you know that the wheat extends in all directions, seemingly endlessly. With your eyes that seem to pierce the darkness, you notice a subtle glow off to your right. I turn, uh, I turn toward the right and, uh, uh, and, and investigate. What do I see as I get closer to the glow? As you approach, you leave the tiny little safe area and immerse yourself in shadow. You vanish and you believe you hear the trembling of great beasts on either side. However... You, being a cat, managed to slip by just fine. I think I, I, I think I should use stealthy feet for that. You're go, you're gonna go one more and use stealthy feet. That's extremely wise, and you're countering the GM from surprising you. <laughs> yeah, that's, I was like, wait, he's giving this to me a little too easy. <laughs> Don't nothing you come say, free. You saw through life. my plan. Are you gonna spend your wonder to use stealthy feet? 
<laughs> yes, I'm going to spend wonder to use stealthy feet. Drat! Okay, you can no longer get ambushed by dream condors, I guess. No! <laughs> condors you, that okay. fall asleep in the sky. You, <laughs> condors that fall asleep and then fall, <laughs> fall from the sky in real Oh, life. dreams. But, uh, yeah. No, here is the effect for stealthy feet, which James very wisely used here. You move around neither leaving any traces nor making a sound. No one in the scene will notice your presence at all. No check is possible. Unless you speak or do something that will overtly make noise, this effect will continue until the scene ends. Functionally, Dr. Hero is invisible in the dream world now, which is very good. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, the great trembling of beasts on either side, yada, yada, yada. You know you don't have to worry. <laughs> I move low you, on the ground like a cockroach. <laughs> <laughs> you calmly progress, your cat paws carrying you forwards. The glow grows a bit. Um, the shade of the world shifting from a drained color palette to a vibrant yellow. Is that is that as I get closer to the glow? This is as you're approaching, yeah. As you um you continue walking forward, once again confident in your ability to hide. And the world suddenly opens up, the tall wheat falling away. Stretching out in front of you is a field of vibrant yellow. Individual boughs of dream wheat swaying in the breeze. I, uh, I go up to the edge of the dream wheat and lean forward and sniff it. <laughs> do, I, do, I, do I detect anything with my cat sniffs? Animal three, yep. this is good. It's very good. You're... Even for a cat, you uh, you had a particular fondness for bread, and this would make simply <laughs> brilliant bread. You bet it'll make even better wine, somehow. Whatever that is. <laughs> oh, you mean a uh, you mean a uh, you mean adoption juice? Adoption juice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. Well, I go into the patch of wheat. I, I move in forward uh, away from the edge so no uh, falling dream condors can hit me. And I begin, I, I get further in, I turn my head 90 degrees to the right and begin <laughs> at, the, at the roots of the wheat so that I can bite through its, uh, the, the, the base of the stalks. I continue doing this. You quickly fell the wheat. It falls to the ground alongside you. Immediately in front of you, you see what you believe to be a rock jutting slightly out of the, uh, slightly out of the wheat, shift slightly, dip down for a second. Your eyes trace it, and you notice it's the, it's the form and shape of a great giant sleeping in the field. This guy does not even begin to notice you. You're so stealthy. <laughs> 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 you chuckle the wheat grit in your mouth. <laughs> Cat chuckles. <laughs> well, yes, um, uh, I am. I am carrying. Uh, I, I okay. So in order to get the wheat out, I have got so much wheat stuffed in my sweater, and <laughs> like it is bursting. Out. I look like a little cat scarecrow. Oh. oh, do you also stuff the clog? It's floating behind you. <laughs> oh yes, the clog is uh, the clog is like my little suitcase. So the clog is stuffed with wheat. I am stuffed with wheat. I've got wheat in my uh, in my mouth. I have uh, got little uh, weaves of wheat going through my scarf in the dream, and uh, my scarf is also twice as long in the dream. Uh, <laughs> and my tail is uh, my tail is also twice as long um, <laughs> you quickly and, stuff yourself with wheat <laughs> if, yes. if i can do a cut back to the real world i'd like to describe the effects of this <laughs> please do as you leave the dream okay happy you watch the skies nothing changes nothing shifts Ra your rabbit friend has managed to find the perfect spot for you you turn around and sort of let out a sigh, just waiting for time to pass, staring at your hat, which is placed against the ground. The sun beats heavily on your brow. I you notice it. as... What? I peek under it. You reach out, and the hat begins to rise off the ground a little bit. Oh. And more. Oh. And more. <laughs> it begins to slowly lift up and rest at about, uh, let's say, three, four inches off the ground. I carefully reach over and lift it up. Wheat. <laughs> oh, they got it. I, I don't know where they went, though. Uh, you hear muffled rabbit sleeping noises from beneath. 
Uh, I reach into the wheat pile and start fishing around for the clog and the rabbit. Ah! Ah! <laughs> darts out of the, starts out of the wheat, eyes wide and panicked. 